Hi everyone! Welcome to our fifth and final episode of the virtual city tour. Where am I today? Is the background a little bit similar to our kingdom episode? Today we're going to visit the locations that symbolize the three main characters of the K-drama Goblin. Our first character is Tian Tak. You may guess from my dress code, but she first appears as a high school student. The location for Untak is the Yunbo Sangha Stone Wall Road. This location is near Korea's fourth president, Yunbo Sun's past residence. The stone wall provides a fruitful view when walking, and at the end of the road is the site for the Joseon Korean Language Society. Many scholars studied and worked there to preserve the Korean language during the Japanese colonial area. In the drama, the goblin Kim Shin tells Untak the numbers for winning the lottery. 이번 주 로또 당첨번호를 알면 건배 시간이 날것 같아서 40, 14, 15, 18, 22 <laughs> So Sungjae and I are going to buy a lottery ticket with those numbers and see what results they bring. There are many filming sites for Goblin in Incheon too, and nearby is our school's international campus, where it is mandatory for freshmen to stay for two semesters. The second location is for the goblin Kim Shin. We're now at the Cheongna Lake Park. In the drama, Kim Shin tells Untak the secret about the sword stuck in his chest while walking through the park. The Cheongna Lake Park is in the middle of the Cheongna International Business District and is divided into five zones. Each zone has its own unique concept and is connected by a long walking trail. The park is also famous for its huge music fountain that displays different performances along to 20 different songs. The last location for today is Songdo Central Park. It's for the Grim Reaper. It's right in the middle of Songdo International Business District and is the size of 56 soccer fields put together. An interesting fact is that it's Korea's first seawater park and in its design process, the characteristics of Korea's geographical features were applied. In the drama, this was where the Grim Reaper first appeared. Did you enjoy our fifth tour? This was the final episode for our virtual city tour program. We hope our tours were fun and informative as we planned. Personally, it was a fun turn for me to be the one living in Korea, to be the one introducing it. I learned a lot while planning for the tours as well. Although we only had five themes to introduce to you guys, Korea is full of fun and exciting places to visit. So Sangju and I truly hope that everyone watching this video can come and visit them in person. So until we meet again, take care everyone. We'll be waiting in Korea. Bye.